The city crews in Prior Lake are now trying something different to try to stop the floodwaters from creeping into homes. Yeah, the high water has been a problem for a full month. Today, trucks hauled in trailers with concrete barriers. Crews used them to form a wall and then added sandbags around them and covered it all in plastic. And now they have installed pumps to suck up the water. Angela Davis joins us from Water's Edge Trail where all of this is happening and hopefully working. Yeah, it appears so. In just the last few hours, we've seen the water level drop. You can see the pump spewing out water behind me. The folks living here on Water's Edge Trail have been using canoes and paddle boats for the last four weeks to get to and from their homes. And today, because of that new strategy, the concrete wall that was built and the six pumps that Public Works crews put in, we're starting to see that water get out of here. It may appear somewhat romantic, but this canoe ride is actually a necessity for Jim and Patty Goodchild. She is disabled, and he is unable to drive because their street is like a river. You take things for granted in regards to just hopping in the car in the garage and, and uh, making a dash to the, to the store. So it's a little bit more involved now. While sandbagging has kept water from creeping into people's homes, it hasn't helped with restoring access to the street. That's why the Public Works Department stepped up their strategy to include concrete barriers. I don't know if this has been used before. It's something that the city's trying right now. Um, it's a lot quicker than sandbag and takes a lot less personnel. And hopefully it speeds up the process for getting the residents access to their homes. A few doors down from the Goodchild's home, we found neighbors gathering for lunch. You can tell frustration and fatigue are taking a toll. It's yeah, it's been a month. Yeah, yeah, it's been tough. It's been a tough month, but... Yeah, we've been struggling through it, you know. You sure you don't want to shoot? Tom Buckingham walked us around to the back of his house to see the sandbagging that was needed there, too. We had it all the way up here to the house, so. So it has gone down some. It has gone down a lot, yeah. Everyone is hopeful that this combination of concrete, sand, and plastic will work. They'll be happy once the pumps start running and we start seeing more roads, so. Again, we can give you a live look at what is happening here along Water's Edge Trail. And yes, indeed, it's getting better. Late this afternoon, those Public Works crews completed the installation of those six pumps, and it seems to be working. Once they uh, have the, uh, the water level drops, once this process is all sped up, they will have to come back and take out those concrete barriers. But it appears that this is a, a, a much more effective way to get all that water out of here. It has not wanted to move, Amelia and Frank. Yeah, finally. Well, that's great news, Angela. We wish them well.